Welcome back to Marathon Swim Stories. It's me, Shannon. I caught up with Janine today after her successful completion of the 21-mile length of Lake Tahoe. It was so much fun to hear to hear Janine's tale of her big adventure in Lake Tahoe. We compared notes a little bit because I'd been there just a week or two before we missed each other, but it was it was still just it's really nice to think that Janine was swimming in that lake not long not long after I was. And um it was just really great to hear without giving you too much a spoiler, just how she got through there at the end. So I hope you enjoy part four of Janine's journey to Tahoe, the exciting conclusion. All right, Janine, back from Tahoe, somewhere in the world. Maybe you'll tell us where you are and tell us all about your swim. I want to hear the good, the bad, the ugly, whatever <laughs> order you want to tell it all in. It all <laughs> happened. Um, I'm currently in Garden City, Long Island. Okay. Which is my summer home away from home. Lovely. Um, so that's, and sometimes I'm, as you know, all know, I'm driving up and down the East Coast. This is home base. <laughs> That's awesome. So, uh, yes, um, I made it. <laughs> Yay! Yay! <laughs> so, in the great words of me to another swimmer, so you don't have to come back and do it again next <laughs> That's right. That's right. Yep. Um, yeah. Yeah. One of my friends just, it took her three times and she just, not a couple weeks after you, I think it was last week, she finished her Iceman and yeah, she, so they have to come back three years in a row, you know, <laughs> every time is a gamble <laughs> with the it smoke is. and whatever. So yeah. Tell yeah us. So we got in me, we being Susan Kirk and I, so mm-hmm. she swam the Viking and I swam the length and we clued each other. We had both done the Godfather in 2019 together and clued each mm-hmm. other. Um, and so when we landed in Tahoe, it was very smoky, um, you know, and, and you're trying to figure out, are you going to be able to breathe? But you're also, you know, some of that's the altitude right? and some of it's the smoke and you don't really know what's what, right? But, you know, we, prepared and um we rented a little house down in south lake tahoe and um you know we go to the lake and swim for like a mile or something each day and it got better and better the smoke dissipated yeah um it certainly wasn't gone when she did her um biking you know it was so disappointed we may have to go back because you want that like oh the blue of going into Emerald Ugh, Bay, but Emerald yeah. Bay was like snow, smoke filled, you know. Oh, yeah. So, I mean, it was good. She made it, it, you know, she got through the swim, but it wasn't, it wasn't the pretty swim she signed up for. Right. Um, yeah. The next day, by the way, was gorgeous. <laughs> um, by that point, uh, it really all blew up. We had, she had an overcast day. Yeah. Um, I also had an overcast day, but the smoke was gone and I'm perfectly happy to be in overcast. Yeah, Um, yeah. Yeah, so we met at eight o'clock down at at Camp Richardson. Mm -hmm. So we swim at south to north in the traditional form. The winds were forecasted to be pretty light uh, with a little tailwind at the beginning, which is what we had Um, Met on the beach. I knew my, the first paddler, John, because he had been the observer for Susan two nights Mm. before. And since I was crewing, I was on the boat with him. So I was really happy about that because, you know, when you do these things, even the big ones, like you're going in and you're like, oh, here's, here's my, here's a year of my life (laughs) that I've spent doing this. And so you need to have some confidence and to have some confident, to have confidence and familiarity with somebody is awesome. We don't always get that, but in this case, I right. did. And John was great. Um, and obviously, um, Tom was there. Yeah. Um, which he was wonderful. But I've swam with Tom being the pilot before. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so we um, and he, John knew some of what like our our system was, Susan and I, because we pretty much sort of do the same thing because he had seen it. So. Mm-hmm. 
gave them the feeds. And the way we did it was the plan was to have kayakers go in and out every four hours. Okay. So we planned feed bags for each for four hours. Four so hours. Okay. feed bag started on the on the kayak. It was going to last for four hours. When they switched out the kayak, there was a whole nother feed bag already prepared mm-hmm. so that that switch went smooth and well, which was nice. Um, we started a little bit before like 830 or so. Okay. A little earlier than expected because we were ready. Mm -hmm. And um, it's kind of nice to swim into the night, like to have a little light to start. Yeah, yeah. Um, So I walked as long as I could, which, you know, I'm very short, so it didn't take me long. (laughs) Um, It was nice, you know, and... um, I can see it. It's funny as you're talking about it, because I can see like when I did that too <laughs> at Camp Richardson and the boats right there at the marina. And yeah, so anyway, I'm, I'm there with you. There's house right there, the people yeah. in the house, there's people on the dock. Yeah. yeah. Um, I didn't put on a ton of sunscreen because I didn't, I put some butt paste, uh, Susan did, yeah. <laughs> like on my arms and shoulders and back. Mm-hmm. And I was like, oh, there's no point in doing anything about with my face until... The sun Morning. comes up. Yeah. Um, I was annoyed. My, you know, I always laugh. I'm like, there's three pieces of equipment. <laughs> yep. Right? Like, it shouldn't be that hard to master three pieces, get them on, get them right, and not have to fuss with them. Right. Um, but I had goggle problems and I had cat problems. <laughs> um, in my head, I break the swim up into quarters because the kayakers were switching out every four hours. Yeah, that yeah. sort of created it. So it was a football game. We had quarters. <laughs> Love it. Uh, first quarter went great. <laughs> um, like it was, it was just, it was happy. It's beautiful. My, you know. Sun moon setting. Up yet. Okay. Um, moon came up, I think around midnight, if I remember correctly. But it's, there's enough ambient light there that I could see my hands. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, and yeah, I guess something. the other experience that was sort of interesting, I had swam across. But when you, and so the light as you breathe right and left is very far away. Yeah. But when you swim up the lake, the width of the lake is, I don't know, anywhere from like eight to 12 miles is my guess. I don't know. Mm -hmm. So when you breathe right and left, you can see lights. You can't actually see buildings or anything like that, but, but it, it it doesn't feel quite as desolate as Mm. doing the width did. Interesting. Yeah. It's even though it's much longer, it, it sort of has a different feel to it. Yeah. Um, we had a tailwind for the first quarter. I don't like tailwinds very much. <laughs> I throw it off my back end. I'm just yeah. not a big, you know, but it was fine. And I made forward progress. My stroke rate was good. I was eating fine. No discomfort, nothing. No discomfort. Nothing. Uh, it took me a little bit to settle in and get my cap right. Um, and then John switched out for Anne. And so she started, and so that was a little, I hadn't really thought, visualized that part of them <laughs> switching. They're like, he's like, I'm going to paddle ahead and you just keep heading towards the boat. And I was like, whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> like, I'm, I don't, I like to swim with somebody. Like, yeah. and so I just had to be like, all right, you, you know, just swim. <laughs> it's not that far ahead of you. They're right, not- right. Susan's on the boat. She's not going to lose sight of you. You know, I've, I've, I've got lights on. It all's good. Just swim. Um, one of the things I was really stressed about going into it was cramping because I had had a really bad cramping problem on one of yeah. my training swims. Yeah. And so I ate a lot of mustard. I had little <laughs> tiny mustard packs. Like every feed? Um, m- maybe every other feed, but a lot. Wow. wow. I was like, I'll be. That's a lot of mustard. <laughs> it was a lot of mustard. <laughs> And I was like, I was so like, I do not want, like every, when this happens to me, it's debilitating. Like yeah. psychologically, I feel like I'm going to drown. So mm-hmm. I had mustards tucked into my teeth. <laughs> and so I would just like go in there and suck it down. And then they had to keep, that was like, I think the only thing they had to go back to the, we, and the first thing we didn't have enough mustards. <laughs> Um, I could see yeah. mustard, little mustard packets around the world are going to be disappearing uh, after this. Uh. You know, they were, they were in like, I probably showed up. There's a photo we took of that house we rented had a big folding table. 
Mm -hmm. um, that we found in a closet. And so we put it up and we both put our stuff on it, like the bottles and the feeds and the meds and the this and the that, right? So that it could all be spread out. And so when it was easy when Susan did her swim to, or to, to go through it and vice versa. Um, and there's like a whole thing of mustard. You know? <laughs> um, and every couple of hours, I don't know, maybe every time the feeds, uh, the kayaker switched, I would pull the garbage out of my, <laughs> out of my <laughs> because I also was doing, um, every other feed was, one feed would be like um, hammer, mm -hmm. uh, heat, uh, perpetuum, chocolate warmed. And the other one would be electrolytes with goo. And I just couldn't, I don't know, I wasn't interested or whatever. I, it was easier for me to take the goo packets and stick them in my suit hmm. than to try and get them back on with the rubber bands or actually hair bands. We oh. found um, glow in the dark hair bands to attach to your bottles. <laughs> nice, nice. They really do glow in the dark. They're silicone. And, uh, <laughs> so that was a nice new. That's cool. You know. So it's all about like the, you know, the other, the other things that we can find in the world that have nothing to do with swimming that we can use. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Quick. Uh, what was the water temp roughly? Um, hmm, that's a good question. I want to say 68, maybe. Mm -hmm. It was, and it's funny. I had points where I kept saying I'm cold, mm -hmm. but the reality was I wasn't cold. Yeah. Um, when I stopped to feed, I couldn't, I still can't quite figure out what it was. Stop to feed, it would feel okay. And then by the time I was finished, I think I would have like shakes maybe or. Oh, interesting. I don't, hmm. And all I kept, in hindsight, the only thing that makes sense is caffeine. Oh. Was really, you know, I was taking caffeine. I don't know what else it was because I really wasn't cold. Nothing I, else was cold. They offered me, they're like, oh, do you want a different cap? And I'm like, no, no, no. And I, I kept saying I was cold, but I wasn't. It was like, once I stopped, I would sort of maybe tense up or something. I, I'm yeah. not sure. I felt cold there too, which I thought was really weird, but I was kind of attributing it to the heat during the day being yeah. so hot. Like, and I just- It was I hot. Um, and made, like, it was just thing, more like, the differential than anything. I don't know. Yeah. But I, I was surprised that I felt chilly like the whole time. I was so glad to be uh -huh. done and not be chilly, but I wasn't actually cold. It's just like it's 68. Right. It was a weird <laughs> thing. I can't, I kept saying I was cold, but that really wasn't it. It was mm -hmm. just, um, it was like I had the symptoms of being cold mm -hmm. without actually being cold. That's, That's interesting. Hmm. So I don't really know. Altitude. But, we'll blame altitude. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Um, the air. Yeah. Um, interesting. Cause m most of the places out there, they don't have air conditioning. Right. Exactly. And so when we got out there and it's like, Oh, you have to be inside a house with the windows closed because the smoke is so bad mm -hmm. and there's no way you sit. Yeah, and it was warm. Like we have box fans going all the time, yeah. but not the most comfortable. And considering the fires are still going, like they're, it'll be interesting to see it, how Tahoe, do they start putting in air conditioning everywhere, which would be sort of sad, but maybe necessary. Yeah. Um, yep. Yep. So yeah. Stroke rate was good up until the end. We'll get to the That's end. Good. Yeah. You're doing the good now. Yeah. We'll, we'll do the good. good. All the good. Um, <laughs> So second four hours, you know, was in the dark and it was, you know, pretty uneventful. The winds died down. I was just swimming. And I feel like if I looked at the observer logs and stuff, like my stroke rate was good. My progress was pretty similar. Um, I pretty much tried, tr tried to train to a 40 minute mile. Mm -hmm. um, and I think that's sort of what I got. Um, up until the end, nice. the, wheel, wow. the wheels came off. Um, <laughs> feeds worked well, mustard no worked well. I, you nice. know, wow. I always said there was three things I didn't want to do. I didn't want to cramp. I didn't want to puke, and I didn't want to poop. And yay! Yay! I success! All, I not having any of those three things happen, which is awesome. Um, I've never, I've never gotten sick on it on a swim, but it That's seems amazing. like it's a swim that a lot of swimmers get sick on. Yeah, I hear that a lot for sure. And so I never felt nauseous. I felt great. That's My awesome. Was good. I think I will attribute that to. I was going to say the mustard, but now the mustard. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> mustard. It's a new thing. I'm just know. Mustard. <laughs> People are going to be like crazy. No, no, no. Don't eat the mustard unless you cramp. <laughs> um, I think people take too much liquid in. Oh yeah. Between what I've experienced as a swimmer and mm -hmm. what I've observed 
cluing and observing, mm-hmm. you're not gunning out there for those long, really long swims. Um, right. Anything, you know, hits double digits, you're not like, and people are taking a lot of liquid. And I think it's just their stomach is like, there's no more room in the air. Yeah. Um, so I took uh, 20 ounce bottles and I put three scoops of feed in. Mm-hmm. So I could get the calories without Jones and without taking in all the liquid. Yeah, interesting. Now I put three tablets of mm, uh, electrolytes in mm-hmm. each bottle. Um, mm, interesting. So that's my it's your philosophy. Know, I like it. Non scientific like thing. <laughs> but on the other hand, I don't puke. So maybe y'all should think about that. Maybe y'all think much harder too. That could be. Uh, so that was fine. Um, second, second quarter went fine. No problems. We made the switch third quarter went well t- too. Uh, John came back in. I was a little antsy for the sun. I'm like, where's the sun? Mm-hmm. Um, I didn't really get the moon I signed up for. <laughs> what was you know, because I literally picked the day based on water temperature and moon. Oh, moon. Okay. I wanted light. Yeah. Um, I saw the moon a little bit here and there, but not a lot, but it also, there was much more ambient light than yeah. I remember on the width crossing. Mm-hmm. So, okay. So there, you know, so it was fine. Yeah. The third quarter, I think went well, everything, you know, I got like, I was like, when's the sun coming up? Uh Uh, But it did come eventually. And uh, I forgot to put sunscreen on my face. Oh, oh. (laughs) But I did get my first cap tan and I had never really gotten one before. So I was very excited about that. (laughs) It was like, I never do. And then I see people and they're like, they have this line and I'm like, yeah. I, I swim a lot. I should have it. I so I got one. Uh, it lasted like two days before it faded. Um, but I still felt good. Um, okay. We, had, we did switch out my goggles at that point, or at some point. I, I don't know if it was second or third quarter, because um, they were annoying me because they were, um, I thought they were fogging. Oh. When I looked at them the next day, there was like, I got sunscreen. I got probably butt paste smudged all Oh, no. During the swim. Oh, wow. Uh, it didn't happen. It happened sometime in the second or third quarter. Mm. Um, and I was like, oh, no wonder I couldn't see out of them. Like I yeah. couldn't rinse them enough. Uh, but it's fine. I had, you know, six pairs of goggles. With me, <laughs> so there was, you know, no problem. Uh, eventually I got the cap under control and that stopped pulling up. And I yeah, could, so I could just swim. Um, body felt good. I'm like, cruise along. Boop, 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 boop. Mentally, you're staying Mentally in the game. Mentally good, happy. I had said to Susan beforehand, um, tell me when I hit 18 miles. I was mm. like, I'm not going to ask you. Tell me when I hit 18. Because I kind of said to myself, well, you know, probably as this goes on, you're going to want to know at some point. And this way, you know when you're going to get told. And you can always swim three more miles, right? Right. That's yeah. What totally. I said. Um, at 17, I wanted it now. I was like, okay. Tell me how many. I was like, all right, this is starting to feel long. Yeah. And I want to say that, uh, I don't know what time it was. I'm trying to think. I don't really know what time it was, but she's like, you're 17. You're at 17. I was like, okay, I got, I got four in me. I'm like, that's going to be two or three hours, somewhere between two and three hours, depending on how it goes. I'm like, I can do that, you know, because I'm just swimming. I'm not know swimming super hard or I'm not out of breath at any point I'm still swimming bilaterally Mm -hmm. which I kind of do but um when I get tired or if I'm trying to pick it up I'll just breathe right so Mm -hmm. I'm still in like the happy place it's it's all good is there Um, any mental cue is there any cues or is there anything else your crew's giving you other than feeds or they I mean of course encouragement support but I I do have them (laughs) So it's kind of interesting um, talking to Susan afterwards as we were talking about, she's like, you know, I didn't love that you were far away. Oh. I used a kayak, right? Oh, okay. And she's like, I couldn't talk to you. I mm. could, like, I couldn't talk directly to the kayak. She's like, if we ever do this kind of thing again, I want a re- video that I can talk directly to the kayaker. So I was like, oh, which is, I get, right? Yeah. Especially when you know each other. Right. right. We've trained right. together. We we swam together. We yeah. done events together. Like, um, and so that was harder. Like, you know, when I'd stop, I'd hear like little people in the background going, "Yeah, you know, whatever." 
what um, so this other kayaker too so you knew john and then ann you said right. was the, and then and, john came back in for the third yeah. quarter and and poor ann got yeah the quarter. Um, <laughs> but i specifically asked tom beforehand if i if john could kayak me first mm-hmm. because i knew him i didn't know yeah. Anne, but i knew john i had met john and i was like he'll help settle me into the like night and i knew like you know the way we got the kayak lit up we had he liked our feed system with the rope and the the you know glow stick on the carabiner and ba, ba, ba. so i was like all right and i talked to him enough to, he had asked the right questions that you're like okay this is not your first time at the radio you know what you're mm-hmm. doing mm-hmm. and then i don't have to manage you know worry about anything yeah, yeah. Um, so i wanted that to start mm-hmm. And um, I still think that was a good, okay. for me at least. Yeah, but it's interesting what you're saying that I think is important about the um, about your the person you brought for your crew isn't near you. Like, you know, right. you know like that was, yeah, that's important. I Especially guess. since so much of that swim is in the dark, like half the swim, it's dark, it's right? Dark, so yeah. They can't see you. You can't see them. You're not talking to each other. Mm-hmm. Um, I also didn't want to be anywhere near the boat. Yeah. Because I was like, oh, it's the other reason people puke and, and have right. to fall. Fumes is they, and like the that. fumes yeah. get them and all of a sudden, you know, mm-hmm. they're pulling out. So I'm not sure. Hmm. I don't know. Um, maybe there's a better management there to be had. But, you know, it was fine through the night. I think I was, I was comfortable. And mm. I... You know, I don't think she was because, because you have this responsibility yeah. to the person and it makes you feel like you've asked me to do this, but you haven't allowed me to do this. <laughs> right, right. right. Yeah. So, yeah. Interesting. So it is something to think about. Yeah. Um, yeah, for sure. You know, and it's, you know, if you've ever been out on Catalina, it's the same thing, you know, mm-hmm. the kayaker and the swimmer is over there and there's this crew person and all they can do is watch, but there's no. Yeah. Depending on the size of the boat, there's no communication, really. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Interesting. Very interesting. I, Good things to think uh, about. Okay. I thought I wanted coffee in the morning, so I had planned breakfast. Breakfast was going to be uh-huh. like a little tiny can of espresso with cream that Starbucks mm-hmm. makes. Along yeah, with I do cream. that one, too. The, the, the um, double shot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah I love that one, too. Pack. It's hard to find sometimes. <laughs> I, 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 I brought it with me. Yeah, <laughs> I, I like, can't even a- imagine how many foods I brought with me. <laughs> um, I had crewed somebody or observed for somebody who, uh, by the last whatever third of the swim, the only thing they could eat was peanut butter cups, and we had like four of them. On the, <laughs> oh on gosh! The, right, everything else she was puking. But yeah. and after that experience, I was like, I am bringing enough of pretty much of everything to get me through at least half the swim. So yeah. I had. <laughs> I had stacks. I have Ziploc bags filled with different things <laughs> yeah. um, because I didn't want that. I didn't. Yeah. So I was gonna. I was damned if I would have spent all this time training for this and all the money mm-hmm. to have you know fifty bucks worth of feed. Yeah. Yeah. I was like, no. You know, <laughs> throw it in the suitcase. Bring it all. Um, because I I I had no experience over nine hours. Mm-hmm. Literally. Right. Yeah. Which. Honestly, don't think it would have made a difference, but, you know, I also was like, I, the best thing I can do is, you know, pack the kitchen sink. Yeah. Bring it all. Yep. Buy yeah. double. I got enough feed to last me for the next, at least the rest of this season and probably <laughs> a good chunk of next. <laughs> and I'm awesome. okay with that, right? Yeah. yeah. You know, like, what else am I spending my, you know, retirement money on? <laughs> Right. Um, so um, when we got right. to breakfast, I was like, ooh, that doesn't sound good. But I had brought three or four gels with me that are 100 milligrams each, which is the equivalent of a cup of coffee. Okay. I had that instead because I was like, mm-hmm. I think I really want coffee. Mm-hmm. Um, the little maple uh, untapped waffle thingy was mm-hmm. okay. Yeah. Um, mashed potatoes were fabulous <laughs> yes, savory salty ever. stuff yeah um salty and freshwater savory. swim i love yeah broth uh, peaches potatoes. were good yeah um i tried raisins mm. um i was like oh charlotte used those to get across lake 
George, maybe they'll work. And they taste good, but they take too long to Oh, chew. Chew. And maybe they're stuck in your can, tea. You know, she's a hummingbird. So maybe <laughs> six, six raisins is all she needs. But I was like, oh, this is not really working for me. Um, the favorite thing that I got at the end, it's funny. Um, somebody said, maybe Susan said, uh, well, you didn't ask for anything else. And I was like, oh my God, I have no idea what I, like, yes, I know I had like, agonize and blah 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 but after like you know eight hours in the water I had no idea what I brought with me right exactly yeah I had yeah. little they were similar to fig newtons but not mm-hmm. they're like bars and they come with two of them in a packet but they're not as dry as fig newtons and they come in hmm. fun flavors they were really good really good I really like those I think though it, at that point anything different also yeah like yeah. I, I, yeah. I like that I saved my treats for mo- most of it for the fourth quarter. And I think yeah. that was a good thing because I just, I needed something, something to be like, right. oh, yay. Cause, yeah. Cause uh, you know, so I think that's all about the good. <laughs> <laughs> so breakfast was just an alteration, but yeah, but everything but was, was fine. fine. It was uh, cherry chocolate, it was delicious. Nice, okay. The, the and high, then- high octane gel. Nice. John referred to it. It's like, we need nice. high octane. <laughs> Um, and then, so the end of the third quarter, you're still, you're like longest swim you've ever done. Yeah. So I'm 12 hours in. I feel good. My body feels good. My head feels good. The sun has come up, blah, blah, blah. It's, it's, I'm good. Okay. I'm not saying it's not, it was like, you know, right. A three mile swim, but I felt good. Okay. Um, so about, Four miles out, I am like my so my left shoulder arm was really starting to bother me. Um, I don't know that I communicated that yet, but I did ask for an extra thing of meds. So I pre-gamed like I had my meds laid laid out. Um, I was taking Advil and eight hour Tylenol, and so that was you know fine hunky dory and then I was like oh this is really starting to bother me and I've never I've never swam hurt Hmm, okay I know that's a most swimmers don't say that but I don't I don't swim even like you know some of the ones in the Hudson where you're fighting the tide at the end Mm -hmm. I didn't walk out being like oh I can't lift my arms or something like I was like it was hard in the moment but not, I never hurt. Mm -hmm. Um, and I was really starting to hurt. Um, and then it's funny because some of it's just a blur. Yeah. But, um, I think at that point, John said to me right at the end of his thing, he's like, I guess when he was going back in, he's like, would you like Susan to come in and support swim? And I was like, oh, yes. Cause I didn't even think about it, but I was yeah. like, Oh, that'd be great. You know? Yeah. So she came in. Um, I think she came in three times Oh, awesome. in the last, that can't be. Maybe she came in once with him and two times with Anne. I don't remember exactly. Mm-hmm. Uh, but so that was great. I hadn't ever had anybody before. Mm-hmm. And since we had trained part of the summer together, I was very used to seeing her, you know, yeah. next to me I would like to advocate for a change in the rules people <laughs> I would because here's the deal Th- that rule about where the person is is about somebody not um drafting, drafting right? right but if if we just have a six foot rule yeah. which we should all be very good with now having gone through COVID you know, <laughs> right. it is yeah the person should be able to swim next to you Mm-hmm. I'm just six feet away. There's no dra- there's no drafting, right? Um, because when they're sort of behind you, you're like, now you're the- funny because you just want to see the person, <laughs> yeah. right? Your friend who's with you sports swimming. Um, so, to the you know people on the committee, <laughs> people are you know the people running the world are here. Um, I'd like to advocate for a change in rules. Support okay. swimmers next to you. Got it. That's yeah, it's not, just yeah. six feet six feet away from you, but I want you want the whole point of this is to see them. See them, exactly. Right? Yeah. And there's no drafting. Right. You know, if you're six feet away, there's just no way you're drafting. Right. You know, and I think an observer knows when there's drafting and not drafting. I think <laughs> it will just be changed to 
the sports swimmer, the swimmer cannot draft off the sports swimmer. There we go. <laughs> as interpreted by the observer. Right, there we go. <laughs> as everything is. Um, yeah. That was also awesome. Kathy Harrington wound up being my observer. And I know you're not supposed to, you know, I didn't know she was going to be my observer, but um, it was nice to have the, I know yeah. there was somebody else on the boat who was also a swimmer and, you know, had been in that lake and, you know, so that was, that was nice. Um, good company for Susan. I know she works well with Tom. She's done this many times before. Yeah. So I always feel like the more people I know, I feel more comfortable and confident that mm -hmm. I don't have to do anything else or worry about anything. Exactly. Yeah. Yep. All right. So now the ugly. The ugly. The ugly. So I'm like, yeah, yeah, I got four miles left. It's 17 miles when I'm like, all right, it's really starting to hurt. Ba, ba, ba. And then at some point, the pain is bad and I'm crying. Oh, no. Now, I'm trying to swim, but, you know, it's very hard to cry and breathe and swim. Like, you can pick two out of three. You, might, you can't do all three at the same time. Um, and I knew I had just had meds, I think. Or so, and, and they weren't, you know, we were beyond that. And mm -hmm. I'd never had anything like this. And I got to a point where maybe two miles out, I couldn't lift my left arm. Oh, I geez. literally couldn't get it out of the water. Oh no. And so you're like, and you can see the beach, right? It's <sighs> there. It's like you, a bunch of boats yeah, and a beach. And you're like, you know, how, do you, how do you stop? Like, I was like, it's there. Mm -hmm. And so I'm trying to like, Susan was in with me at the time and I'm like, I, I don't know what to do. She's like, well, try to put your arm in a different place. And I'm like, okay. And like, I tried putting it straight out and like, that's not working. I tried putting it against my side and I'm like, that's not working. She's mm -hmm. like, try another stroke. And I'm like, I don't know another stroke. <laughs> I'm like, okay, USMS, maybe you're right. Maybe I should learn another stroke, but um. Nothing. I tried side stroking, like nothing's working. And so finally I figured out that I could swim free with my right, which is my dominant hand anyway, which is awesome. And I could doggy paddle my left so I could wow. get a rhythm going too. Um, and so I did that for a little bit and I stopped and I was like, Susan was in. I'm like, am I making forward progress? <laughs> the other thing you don't like, okay, there's, you know, most, you know, there's activity, but is it, doing anything she's like no no, no you, you you make you're going you're moving I was like all right she's like can you do this I'm like until I can't but yes <laughs> <laughs> and um you know so I did that I want to say for at least a mile and a half maybe two miles wow I think the, I think the last two miles took two two and a half hours like I was I was I was definitely tracking before I sort of fell apart Wow. More the physical than the mental, I think. Mental was like, I'd stop and be like, how much longer? Yeah, it was just mm -hmm. that, but it wasn't. Um, I was probably going to go under 16 hours, which for me would have been awesome. 16 was sort of my target. Mm -hmm. And I finished in 17, which I'm thrilled with. Uh, I did get an, I was mean to my kayaker. I kayakervated. <laughs> Oh, no. Annie, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Annie. Um, because she every time I stopped to be, she'd be like, "You're doing great," and I'd be like, "Finally, I was like, you have to stop clapping." <laughs> <laughs> and I know, and I said, "I know your heart's in the right place, but like, that's not who I am." Like, so it's, <laughs> it is funny. Like, I need uh, too much rah rah. Never. Some people mm -hmm. love the rah rah. Right. Right. Um. So I was also like, I can't be. Pl I, please just paddle and give me food and look happy but no more clapping um <laughs> I know you know but I figured you know I always say to people I'm like it's the one day you have to be selfish yeah you right? to tell people the what you need because if you don't tell people what you need you. yeah everybody is there to do whatever you need them to do but yeah. you also have responsibility to communicate yeah. What you need from that. So, yeah. you don't, I mean, I didn't curse it or anything, but right. it was just kind of like, uh, please, yeah. stop, please stop, stop clapping. Please. Oh, man. Um, 
Tom was wonderful. I really haven't said anything about him because uh, he's Tom. He just he's he's Tom. Easy going, yeah. He's an easy going. Um, when I wasn't, I, I was trying to, but I didn't understand when I first did this was that as you're swimming in, there's a very narrow part that's the public beach. Yes. So I had never, I didn't know this. Right. And there's a big part that's a private beach club. Yep. Which, by the way, is closer. Right. So at one point I stop and I'm like, where am I heading? Why are you keeping taking me over there? And Tom's like, shut up and swim. And I gave him an obscene gesture. It was the first <laughs> time I had really been like, where am I going? Because I couldn't understand. And finally somebody, I guess Annie told me, she's like, I'm like, why can't I just swim to that beach? She's like, because we won't be able to ratify you if you swim yeah. to that beach. Yeah. I was like, all right. So and at this point, you're still doing the this doggy paddle. Oh God, yes, it's ugly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's pretty much it. <laughs> but under, over, under, over. I had quite a hitch in my giddy up that <laughs> towards the end there. Um, and Susan swam in, and she was standing on the beach. Um, oh, excellent learning. I have this habit where I've always like sort of swam until I got to the like to shallow water so, right. and stood up. Yeah. So when I did The Godfather and I went to stand up, everything cramped. Oh. I tried crawling and everything's cramping. I literally <laughs> rolled onto the beach. Okay. Really no way to end it, but you got to stop the <laughs> clock. So I was like, I, I, it's all I got. Like my limbs aren't working. So this time I stopped when I was in like chest high water. Uh-huh. Out. No cramping, no drama. Uh-huh. And it makes sense because- It's the mustard. The water's <laughs> putting me away, right? Yeah, so, it's true. Yeah. Lesson learned. Yeah. For me, you know, as soon as you get feet down, get feet down. And that's such pretty sand and water. Yeah, and everything. So right. you're not like sinking into mud or anything. It's lovely. Right. Yeah. Um, and my other big fear for every swim is after the swim, you have to climb back onto the boat. Mm. Right? I don't mind the swim back, but now all of a sudden I'm like, oh my God, how am I going to do this? Like, you know, the ladders are this big. And now I have only one arm that's working. Oh no. And I'm like, I have visions of like Tom go, right? <laughs> somebody pushing, because that was the only way I was getting back on the boat, like with one arm after swimming. Oh, and, geez. Yeah. Really, we, we, we need to work on this part, people. <laughs> um, but the people at the lovely private club allowed mm. us to use their dock. Yay. So I could walk down the beach, mm-hmm. walk down the dock and get onto the boat. Nice. Um, and I also love the fact that you see what you swam after you swam it. Um, right. That was, yeah. You know, that could be and a it takes forever to get before. to the other right, side. You're exactly. like, man, I did that? <laughs> right. So it's sort of both those things, right? You're like, oh my God. And you're like, oh, thank God I didn't know this is what was coming. Like, <laughs> like you know, you know, you're like 20 miles. Yeah. You know? Yeah. You, can, you can swim 20 miles. Um, but when you boat it back, you're like, ooh. Uh, I swam. Uh, <laughs> I swam 20 miles. I 20 miles, right. Uh, <laughs> so I think that's uh, I think that's most of my recap. I don't know where else. Oh, and my sister got me a Tahoe necklace. Oh, it's beautiful. Yeah. The little, oh, the lake. Yeah. I love it. That's so cool. You deserve it. <laughs> so cool, Janine. <laughs> So, oh man so tell us so the so oh, the peanuts afterwards peanut oh, yeah, butter yeah. and jelly and chocolate milk were my post swim Pro- protein pumping yes. oh and the olympics is the perfect taper activity you, <laughs> around, you watch tv and you're inspired by other people that's a good one so every, right. yeah. so every four, four years you yeah. a really big swim that's like out of your because you do you like you see these people and you're like oh look why and then, you know yeah they could yes. be somebody like, you know, doing archery. It doesn't matter. Like it was, it was they're like so excited. Story and yeah. I, I, I love that. Yeah, I, I agree. <laughs> it's perfect taper activity. I love it. And you have more time for it because you're tapering. So <laughs> it was, it could have been more perfect. We were there for like the first week of the Olympics. That's great. Right. When the swimming is happening. That's awesome. Yeah. I yeah, love too. this. <laughs> yes very cool um so so what was what was it do you think that got you to 
figure out a new stroke? Like, was that, so Susan was in the water. She talked you into something when you're like, I don't know what I'm going to do, but like, I don't know, mentally were you, did you have to, I don't know. What was, what was I that like? See it. I, could, I, I could see the beach. Okay. So if I you couldn't like have seen the beach. Miles out. Yeah. I don't know if I, if I couldn't see the beach, if I could have done it. Mm-hmm. And I was like, and there's the other part of me, like when I, crew somebody I always say to them my job is not to make sure that you swim today it's that you can swim tomorrow Mm. so that you you're not broken you're not dead you're not right it's one swim you can't yeah and I'm sitting there and I'm like you know (laughs) gimping along and I'm like am I am I going too far because I've never done anything like that before Mm -hmm. I'm like oh is this where is this where you break right Right. he's always like but we said, like, I want to be able to swim a 10K into my 70s. I don't care if yeah. I'm the last person to finish. I would like to still be doing this. Mm-hmm. And um, that was the hard thing to say, okay, is this? And I don't think there's any way to know it in the right. moment, right? Right. And you're like, okay, you haven't ever really been like this. Mm-hmm. So I will tell you, like, for... It's probably four or five days before I could do this. But for like the first 48 hours, I couldn't hold anything in my left hand. Oh, I no. couldn't raise it. I had to sleep on a sofa so I didn't roll over. Oh, no. I had never had anything. I had never been hurt like this before. Wow. Um, and I'm supposed to swim Willoughby on Saturday, which would be about two weeks yeah. And I just pulled today. Did you? Yeah. Um, I went to the, so I've swam a little here and there. Mm-hmm. Um, and I just went to the pool and did an easy 3000. And I was like, I'm still feeling it. It's not crippling, but I still feel it. And I'm like, this is, this I feel like is where you get hurt is when you yeah. don't give your body enough time to heal. Yeah. Um, true. And so I was like, you know what? I'm not going to swim Willoughby, which I love that lake. Right, it's yeah. My top fives. Um, but I'm going to go up anyway and, Yay. I don't know, boil corn or drive swimmers around or do something. Yeah, these totally. Tea people. Just be in Willoughby uh, for a little bit. Yeah. And, and it's always like, it's like a hundred people. So it's always a fun event. So I'm like, just, just go and don't swim. And that's still fun too. Yeah. Very, very I did cool. do a circumnavigation up. Uh, Echo Lake in Franconia, New Hampshire last week. Did you? Wow. Uh, with with uh, Charlie, who's 12. Um, it's a mile. That's awesome. It yeah. was really cool. Like, yeah, I that's home, so I did it with the watch and the two of us swam. And I was like, oh, see, we can still do big swims. Yes, <laughs> that's good. Is there anything you're doing? I don't know. Do you feel like you need to go see somebody about the shoulder or do any preventive maintenance or what's your kind of go yeah, forward my strategy? Yeah, is... If it's not, if I'm still having it by the end of the month, mm-hmm. I'll go see somebody and I'm going to keep swimming a mile or two here or there. I'll go up, like when I go up to Vermont, I'll probably go over to Green River Reservoir one day mm-hmm. and do a little swimmy swim. I just think five miles in Willoughby. Yeah. Well, in Willoughby is, can be wavy. It can be, yeah. You just never know. Start out nice. And then the hurricane blows through. Right? <laughs> exactly. You've been there. It's like that lake. I don't know why, but it is. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I, you know, if it doesn't, I will. Um, but right now I'm just trying to swim easy with it and I've got mobility and it's fine in yeah. my day to day life. It's, yeah. you know, at about a mile and a half, I'm starting to feel, but you know, yeah, the first two days I couldn't lift it and right. I didn't swim for a week at all. So I also, uh, I've never it. had to I've never had, I've never been hurt like this by a right. swim, so I also don't know what my body healing time is. Right. And I'm 59 too, so it's not like things just pop back. Pop right back, yeah. They're not well, but you are getting better, so you weren't able to lift your arm, now you can lift your right. arm. Right, and, and, and so now swim. I can swim a mile. I can swim, I did 3,000 today, so I yeah. swam two miles, Yeah. but there was still like stuff it's, in there. Yeah, um, yeah. So we'll see. Yeah. I'm, um, I'm pretty optimistic. It's just going to take some time and maybe some PT. Yeah. Right. Possibly. That's what, well, yeah. But I don't exactly. think like I, you know, tore out my rotator cup, whatever, right. where it is. I have no idea. Right. 
they are called overuse injuries for a reason because they're from right. overuse. So, and so but the yeah, a little bit of, do is, you know, yeah, do your stretch, internal and deep. external rotators. Those are the big ones that always right. help. And so somebody told me if I could still like do this and I, yeah. like, I'm good yeah. and I can. So I think this just needs a little TLC. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. And trying to think like if there was anything in your training that you could have done, but you were doing so much going in. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I did 15 weeks over 20 miles. Wow. From January yeah. 1st on. It yeah. did a lot of yards. Right. Um, and not like, you know, I got to the point where I could get my thousands without looking at anything within five seconds of each other. So I, I think I was well-trained, mm -hmm. you know, I mean that, but I've always been a believer in like train hard, swim easy mm -hmm. so that you yeah. don't. Um, I don't know what I could have done differently for this. Yeah. Uh, you know, if I had maybe three or four years of building up to stuff that was in between. Oh. Was oh. probably the only, you know, um, I think my left went because I used to always, my right was, is always my strong. And, I, and up until about three years ago, I used to only breathe right. Mm -hmm. And my right one was probably 70%, 65, 70% of my power. Mm -hmm. I don't think my left, maybe, maybe it went because it's not, hasn't had the amount of yards in a weird mm -hmm. way that my right has. So I don't know. Yeah. Were you doing any, um, like stabilizer, muscle stabilizer exercises when you were yeah, doing those like big bands and stuff. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. That's good. Do those a couple of times a week and stretch. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. So it what's next? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's the loaded question, isn't it? <laughs> um, bridges to bluffs. <laughs> it's Yay. September. Yeah. The second October. Uh, I don't know about next year yet. Right. I, I'm always afraid of never say never, but I kind of feel like I went into this all, or when I started doing the long stuff, I was like, I want to find out how, when it's not happy, right? Mm -hmm. At what point? Um, and I think for me, you know, that would be 14 hours. Maybe I could train to longer, but I'm just saying like, the 14 hours of this swim were wonderful. Love, mm -hmm. love, loved them. Um, it was fun. It was beautiful. I was excited to be there. Um, and so I feel like there's still bodies of water I want to swim in that I've never swam in. Mm -hmm. I don't know that I need to like do the hard swim in them anymore. For me, this, this was my channel. Mm -hmm. like, I don't, you know, everybody does, I, I'm, I'm an, I'm a emotional swimmer or I, I pick waters that speak to me that make, mm -hmm. and this did, maybe something else will come along. Yeah. You'd ask me in 2018, if I would ever do this, I would have said no. So right. never say never. Yeah. But I also am like, you know, I fall in love with another lake I can do it with. And yeah. I think I'll be okay with that. Um, I don't, this was also a lot of time. Yeah. It didn't leave a lot of time, much time for anything else in life. The training mm -hmm. for this, uh, also with like, you know, pools closing and this and that. And right. I have it, I, I have it, I knock on wood, I have it much better than most people do. Um, I, I found ways and being retired, I could swim at different times in different mm -hmm. places, but I also don't. <laughs> You know, I would drive up to Vermont for a couple of days and swim. And then I'd drive right. to Western Jersey and swim yeah. for a couple of days. So, you know. That's a lot of time. Yeah. I did. I, but my life allows for that. Yeah. Um, but I don't know that. Yeah. It's a big swim year. Check. It was a big <laughs> swim year for me. Uh, yeah. I've never been to swim the suck, so it's not over yet. And yeah. I have a swim vacation planned to go swimming and sailing through the Grenadines <gasps> in November. Oh my goodness. People who I love. Awesome. Um, so yeah. So my swim so year is not us. <laughs> right. Yeah. No. Um, and usually October is where I start really 
Thank you. Yeah, you got, you definitely need another month of recovery before. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, and I still want to like do some more fun swims. Like somebody's like, really going to swim more? And I'm like, I just spent eight months, you know, getting yeah. where I could swim. You're like, ready. Yeah. I'm not a one and done. Yeah. Uh, I'm hoping I'm not one and done. Right. Um, yeah, exactly. So, yeah. I'm excited that you're doing uh, Bridges to Bluffs and Swim the Sack yeah. and a swim vacation. That's so cool. I know. I've never been to Tennessee, so it's my Tennessee year. I went and I think it was 2018 I went. It was it was a lot of fun. I like downriver 10 miles. Like, downhill, yeah. Yeah, but. yeah. I mean, and there's not, you know, a huge current, but it it was neat. It was it was novel, I guess, to go do a different downriver swim. The one you know here in Portland, Oregon, we have is, uh, is about 17k, so like 11 miles downriver, and it's got its own different dynamics. But it's like this nice amount, you know. I feel like you can be like modestly swimming and go and do it if you've got the right confidence of experience. Right, right. This doesn't so. this doesn't require. If- it, 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 yeah, depending, yeah. I have enough miles on my body that yes, yeah, you could just me to like I could not swim from now until bridges to bluffs, You'd and still okay like may not be pretty, yeah. but I would. Yeah. Say, I'm, <laughs> yeah. I'm psyched to jump off the boat. Yeah, um, that's cool. So, yeah, that'll be super fun. Um, yeah, and uh, I may go out to Pittsburgh and the help three out rivers. with the rivers Very and just cool. volunteer. Yeah, yeah. fun. Fun, fun. Yeah. So keep doing all the fun swimmy stuff. That's, I feel like it's, yeah, we're in this interesting time where I'm, I'm kind of glad like, okay, well my swims are done I'm, and now I don't know what the really? whole COVID world. Well, for, not for this year. For the, okay. I, loved, <laughs> only kinda... I loved your Tahoe swim. Oh, that was super cool. Like connecting them. That was awesome. It was fun. And, and now I'm like, Oh, well, how far could I take that? Cause I can drive there. That's like a big thing for me is like, it's a swim I can drive to. Yeah. <laughs> you no, know? no, no, there's a lot. The, and yeah, but with this whole, you know, the way things are going between COVID, the fires and COVID. Yeah. Like, just like fires going all the time. Yeah, exactly. And I don't know if you saw, um, I don't know him, Mike Rice. Is that his name? He just did the Tahoe in 835. Wow. He just broke the record. Wow. Which is very, amazing. I know. It's becoming, so, yeah, it's becoming very, uh, there's a lot of people out doing Tahoe. They're busy out there. Right. No, it's great. Like, it's great, yeah. I feel like the East Coast hasn't really gone out there yet. Right. You know, they'll go out and they'll do Catalina. Right. You know, yeah. Or they'll swim, you know. Well, it's not easy to get to and it could be smoky and it's high altitude. <laughs> Right. The, the kicker is it takes you time to, to acclimate to the altitude. Yeah. So, and that does, you know, that's time and money. Money is right. time. Right. Right. So, yeah. yeah. Yep. So next time Susan and I have decided we're just going to go out and we're going to rent a boat. I'm going to jump off. Sounds fun. Swims, just to hang There's out. There's a lot of beautiful. Like, I want to like ride the bike around. The bike. Yeah. Like I never do any, I, I, don't get me wrong. I love the swimming part, but yeah. like, Oh, I know it's so beautiful. I know exactly what you mean. Yeah, there's a lot of beautiful lakes around there too. There's other ones that small, small. Yes, ones, I've seen beautiful. on the maps, but yes. <laughs> yeah. Except yeah. for that one point where you come up over the ridge and there's like by Emerald Bay and there's a, another lake on the other side. Yeah. Yeah. You're hitting, the driving thing there is crazy. Yeah. It's bonkers. Crowded bears everywhere. <laughs> All of it. Didn't see any bears. Still have not seen a bear. Yeah, they've, there was reports of them all around me while I was there, but I didn't actually put my eyes on one. <laughs> Especially at Camp Richardson, I hear there's a couple of that just live there in the garbage. Right. <laughs> awesome. Well, thank you so much for sharing your journey with thank us, Janine. It was so nice to, yeah, and congratulations. What, a, <laughs> what, a, what an accomplishment. And I'm excited you still, you're well-trained, you're ready and rested. Well, you're going to take care of your shoulder, go into a couple more swims this year. Yeah. Very cool. (laughs) And it's been really wonderful doing the journey with you guys. I mean, really, you know, it was part of why I made the beach too. Like, I was like, what the hell am I going to (laughs) say? Like, it's it's two miles. Well, you got out because you couldn't swim. How about that? That's a pretty good one. (laughs) yeah well it was it's been uh it's been an honor thank you for sharing your journey with us all right (laughs) i hope you enjoyed today's interview 
Do you want to take Marathon Swim Stories with you? Subscribe on your favorite podcast provider. Want to connect with like-minded limit pushers? Join us for Marathon Swim Stories Live on Tuesdays at 5.30 a.m. Pacific, 8.30 Eastern, 13.30 GMT. Thanks for watching.